Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Thursday, December 20th, 2018. I am the Drunk Poker Room. It's beer time. It is not beer advent yet. Mrs. Poke's not home. I've spent the day winnowing down the list of over 730 beers that I uh, talked about this year to help us get to the 10, the 10 most memorable beers. Now, there's a few days left for stuff to get on the list. Uh, usually, I, I let it go until about Christmas Day, and then I've got to write all the uh, the different articles for the different style categories. One of them, which is lager. Wow. In Hamilton this week, two of the best at dropping big old boozy bastards and IPAs decided to drop lagers. First up, from our friends at Collective comes the hellish German style lager, 4.6%. Like, I don't know what to tell you. This is the time of the year when everybody's like, stout, stout, porter, porter, stout, stout, porter, porter. And they're like, yeah, lager. And you're like, all right. Who am I to argue with Collective Arts and Fairweather Brewing? So we're going to start with Collective here. Um, I have some great beers on that list. I was looking even at every category. I'm like, how am I going to pick my favorite one? Luckily, I have videos and Instagram posts to help remind me of what I thought of the beer at the time. And hopefully I can deem that. Look at that. Oh, my God. This is my oldest Collective Arts glass. It is indeed one of my oldest glasses in my beer collection. I rarely use it because I don't usually have a locker. <laughs> they do have new IPA glasses at Collective. I think I need to buy one. But... Uh, yeah, so a little bit hazy, or is that just the no, a little bit, a little bit cloudy, which is good. And you're getting some floral hay, a little bit of toasted biscuit malt on the top. But anyways, you know what? Listen, I think um, we, we've probably talked about this before. We've talked about a lot of things. We've had over 500 videos this year, which is crazy. But next year we're going to talk about that. Um, but yeah, like. It's nice to have a break from the big hot bombs, and especially right now when I'm doing the calendar and it's all big boob and boobin uh, boobin barrel, boobin barrel, big bourbon barrel bastards. It's all big boozy bastards, and uh, yeah, so a nice a nice crushable pills or lager works for me. Let's get into it. Uh, cheers to Collective for a great year. Lots of Collective on my list, but uh, let's see where this one ends up. Cheers. So first sip of beer for the day, and right off the bat, you're definitely noticing that kind of biscuit um, cereal grain malt body. Uh, there is a, a nice a bit of kick on the back, a little bit of bitterness, which gives you that. And that and this is where I think the craft lagers deviate from, say, the macro lagers. I always find there's a bit more pronounced bitterness on the back. There's definitely some hay notes, um, floral in there, you know, I, I, Pilsner style yeah, it's, it's it's exactly what it is. It's a beer. I feel like it's got a bit more body too than like a macro lager, and I think that's a that is a big difference. Um, at four point six percent, super crushable, but a lot of body, a nice bitterness, a touch of lemon, some apple maybe in there. Definitely some apple. I, I love it. I love, it's actually really good. Now, should I, should we be surprised that Collective and Ryan Morrow can make a great lager? No. They don't because, well, nobody really makes lagers. Everybody wants IPAs and big stouts and funky this and sour that. So it is definitely a treat to see both Collective and Fairweather, who we'll get to later on this afternoon, um, put out these kind of crushable beers that taste like beer. And yet, you know what, this time of the year, after damn near a thousand reviews, or well, over 700, but over 900 reviews, uh, did some more than once for some reason, that's just who I am. But uh, yeah, like it's nice to just sit down and have a beer. And that's what this is. It's a beer. So enjoy. Look for it. You pick it up at the uh, the brewery. They have two new releases out, plus a ton of great IPAs as always, and their sours, and the Baltic Porter, and a bunch of barrel aged, I think six different barrel aged Porter, seven. So six, six different barrel aged stouts, the barrel aged Porter. Take your pick. Bring your growler. Get some surround sound. Oh, big two liters of surround sound. But uh, yeah, try this out because if you want to have a beer sometimes that tastes like a beer, if you want to have a beer for maybe that guy who's dipping their toe in, you know, the the, the, the lady who wants to sort of kind of try it out, that's what you got to do. Give them something that's not going to be so different from what they're drinking now. But anyways, I'm, I'm going to go and enjoy this and I will see you guys a little later today. Cheers. I still wonder that old George Carlin thing. If there's a hell of a guys, and there's two of them, they're both hell of a guys. Are they hells of guys? Are they hellishes of guys? I, I don't know. 